So you need to do this fast to avoid losing access to your Twitter account. Twitter said that after a month from now, only those that have the blue check marks or those that pay for the $11 subscription will be able to use the SMS two-factor authentication method due to security reasons. And if you are using that method right now, because I know most people that have two-factor authentication enabled on their Twitter accounts are using the SMS-based two-factor authentication. So watch this video to the end as I will share with you important tips and most people that ignore this might most likely lose access to their accounts when they change their device or their device gets lost or stolen they would not have access again to their twitter account so you don't want your years of get, of gaining followers and everything to be a waste so i'm sure you know the essence of two-step verification so i won't bother explaining that but if you don't know two-step verification gives you extra, extra layer of security on your twitter account or your social media account the sms method there's the authentication app method and then there's the authentication or hardware key method the most common one is the sms method where they get to send you an otp on your code after you put your password it will send you an otp to your to your registered number for you to put in the code so this verifies that you are actually the person that is trying to log in so if anyone has access to your password and is trying to access your twitter account the person will need to put in that second means of verification, which is the code. The purpose of this video, we are just going to, I'm just going to show you how to link your Twitter account to a two-factor authentication app. So the first thing you need to do is to download a two-step verification app. So there are lots of platforms out there. There is the Google Authenticator, there is the One Login Protect, there is the Authy, and there are different ones out there. So the next thing you do after downloading the app is that you open your Twitter, then you go to Settings and Support. On that Settings and Support, you click on Settings and Privacy. Then you select security and account security. Then you click on the two-factor authentication. After clicking on two-factor authentication, you select the authentication app option. Then it will ask you to put in your password to verify that you are the is the real owner of the account that is trying to change the existing two-factor authentication. So you put in your password. So after putting your password, you click get started. Then you click link app. Then when you click link app, it will automatically open the authentication app or it will ask you to choose the authentication app that you want to use. After doing that, you save the key for the account. You will see there to tell you Twitter, to write your account, your Twitter account username, and then to state it that it's for your Twitter account. So just save it. Okay, after saving it, it will require you to input the code that is generated on that authentication app in your Twitter app. So after doing that, you can just minimize and then check the for the code then you pay you write the code in that place to authenticate so after doing that it will show you that it will show you a single backup code which you should keep safely so that backup code you can write it down or screenshot it or you you, you will not be able to screenshot it due to security reasons but you can write it down somewhere in a notebook and keep it safely or in your password manager if you have password manager you can keep it in the vault of your password manager but don't just write it somewhere because someone that has it will be able to bypass your two-factor authentication then when you are done you click on done so it's important to have what they call backup codes as they will help you in case you lose your 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 two-factor authentication or your medium of two-factor authentication if you lose it maybe your phone gets lost or the screen gets damaged or you lose access to your account due to some reasons you'll be able to use that backup code to bypass everything okay so it's really important to keep uh, to have this this code so you can watch this video which is on your screen as it shows you how to get these codes and how to safely protect them because it's really important the protection of these codes is really important so this video which you can see on your screen will show you how to do that consider subscribing as we teach cyber safety and i'm sure your friend or family member that uses twitter would appreciate if you shared this video with him or her so thank you and i'll see you in my next video bye guys